Hi Pisces, welcome to your July of 2018 uh, forecast for July. This is the uh, shirts that I'm doing. This is going to show you at the beginning and I won't have to talk about them later. <laughs> but it's got the astrology mandala and then it's got a whole bunch of characteristics with the uh, Pisces, spiritual, mystic, old soul, water sign, fish, etc, etc. So if you want to uh, get one for yourself, you can check out the link. The direct link to your sign will be below this video. Uh, we're getting into clip season, so it's big changes for everybody. Today we're going to do, as always, we're going to do a reading with my deck, the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, which is my creation. And then we're going to pull a card from the Beast, Mistress, and the Oracle cards, which are also my creation. You can find links to those and to purchase for yourself if you would like on my website. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on for our Pisces friends for the month of July of 2018. Uh, a couple cards fall out, so let's put this first, second. Um, I'm still offering the eclipse, or the solstice readings, I should say. For I'm posting this the last week of June. I'll be by the first week of July or so, it should still be available. It's a really good reading. It's a good forecast reading. It's astrology, but I also use psychic, intuitive um, stuff in it. So do check that out if you're interested. All that can be found on the uh, my website, or there'll be links below as well. Or show more if you're on a device. One more card for Pisces. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's take a look. Okay, Pisces. Well, you know, a ton of swords came out, but it's in reverse. It's not all that bad. The very first card out was the King of Rods. King of Rods could be, uh, by the way, I don't use gender in these general readings, so all of the cards that are depict people could be male or female. The uh, King of sword Rods, it's funny I'm trying to say sword, I saw that sword and that sword, but we're talking about the King of Rods. Fire sign person, male or female, Leo, Aries, Sag, can be talking timing because we are going to be moving from the sign of Cancer into the sign of Leo on the 22nd of July. So it might be talking about towards the end of the month after we've moved into Leo. It looks like that you have known this person for a long time, though. Whenever you get a knight and a king in the same spread, it usually means that um, this is somebody that you've known for a long time. You've known them when they were younger, and now you've known them when they were older. Luckily, in this spread, they're both in the upright position, so that's pretty favorable. That says that they were pretty cool when they, they knew, you knew them before, and they're, gonna, they're pretty cool now. Also, it can say, do you meet them now, and they're pretty cool, and they're going to be pretty cool into the future. Seeing as how this one came out first, though, to me it feels more like that they, you, they work, you've known them for a long time. Um, they're ready to, we're ready to put this behind us, it looks like. The Ten of Swords is, there was some kind of big thing. Ten of Swords is some kind of huge hurt. It's the worst, kind of one of the worst cards in the deck. Again, in reverse, not as bad, but it's a ten. And ten is always the most. Ten of swords is the most hurt, pain, suffering. It's the it's behind him. See, that's what makes me feel like, you know, we want we're ready to put it behind us. We're ready to put it in the past, in the rear view. We're ready to move on and not not deal with this anymore. The hero fan in reverse is here too. It's not a really a bad card either. It just means doing things differently. Um, it, it's uh, So it could be talking about this relationship since this person is so prevalent in the, the spread here. Um, it could be like we're going to take this relationship differently from here on out since we're putting this behind us and we're going to do things differently. And we're going to... Um, but it's also just different for you. It's doing... it's being unusual. Um, not the normal, not the same old story. You know, we're going to do things a little bit different than we're used to. You know what I thought here too. This could be like a, a generational thing too for some people. This might be father and son, mother and son, mother and daughter. You know, this might be 
somebody's reconnecting with uh, their long lost parent or maybe not long lost but you know what I'm saying like because um, th the wish card is here that's sweet the wish card is here so the wish card is um, I, want, I want to talk about karma hopefully I'm not going to forget it let me write, make a little side note here that just came to me. But the wish card it means like your wish is coming true. And it does, you know, it's connected to him and him, her and her, whoever, you know, this, it's connected to this person or persons. Um, so it, it, I feel like it could be generational too. Like maybe you're divorced and your, your ex isn't spending time with your kid, but now they're going to. Or, you know, it could be, for some people, it might be along those lines. You know, about this putting the pain in the past behind you. I had a flash on, you know, you being Pisces, that you rule the 12th house in astrology, which is, uh, and Chiron has been in Pisces for a long time, and now it has moved into Aries recently. And that's one of the things that I do discuss in that solstice reading, how it affects you. But about putting the past behind, you know. We're not, we've got what, uh, what I've discovered through doing these uh, solstice readings about the Chiron energy is that, while it was in Pisces, many of us were wallowing in some pain. We were discovering all this deep hurt, this deep pain. And now that it's moved into Aries, it's moved into some fire energy. It's time for action. It is time to put that behind. It's time to not wallow in it. It's time to move forward to the future and take action. You don't need to be on guard about this either. There, for some, some reason, there's this, I'm on guard. That's why for some of you, I feel like this is your ex. And he hasn't seen the kids for a long time, or he hasn't been talking and seeing the kids. And you're like, oh, he's back again. Is he going to stick around? I don't know. Do I even want to open this can of worms? You don't have, it's going to be much better this time around, if, if that's the pattern, if that's the pattern we're talking about. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is showing down here as well. This could be another person who could be an Earth sign, which would be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Um, but before I move on to him, you know, we're having these eclipses this month, and even though the eclipse isn't in your sign or anything, um, the new moon eclipse is in Cancer on the 12th, and the full moon eclipse is in, um, it's actually in Aquarius. I wrote Leo here, but it's Aquarius. Um, because it's in the when we're sun, it's in Leo. Um, you know, big changes can occur at this time. So if this is some long, it's like, oh, he's now he says he wants to see the kid again, or... He says this or he says that and he's caused all this pain for us in the past. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Mm, it really could be a, a big change. I mean, that could be a real thing that could happen. So, don't, you know, don't give up on that. Don't, uh, you can believe in it because the wish card is here. Pentacles. Could be an earth sign person, but also it can be money showing up. Money's coming. Maybe they, maybe you said you can't see them until you pay child support for some people. Could be like that. You know, these people are both in the upright position, so it doesn't feel like there's a lot of animosity there, but there definitely is this hurt from the past. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is showing up with Ace of Swords, so some kind of big victory, breakthrough, some kind of big change with the money situation, and it looks very good. Um, a new beginning, a breakthrough, big change with the Ace of Swords. Again, eclipse season, big changes occur, big shifts and changes do occur uh, for everyone. Now the last card that came out was the sun, so sweet. One of the best cards in the deck. The sun is, you're happy, you're joyous, you're shining, you're glowing. Um, can be talking about the sun moving into fire too. So for a lot of you, even if, if you don't have this child support thing doesn't re resonate with you, I feel like it, it could be um, when the sun moves into Leo, which is again going to be around the 22nd. Okay, let's get that animal totem card going for us. I was going to say my Leo friends, but of course we're doing Pisces. Don't forget to check out everything that I have to offer. You can check the Eye in the Sky. I'll take you to my website or the links below. As long as you said you'd have trouble finding me, if you hit the subscribe button, then you won't ever miss a beat. So what is going on? I keep wanting to say Leo, boy. So something must be, either these people are Leo, one or the other, or both. It's a Leo, or we're talking Leo time after the 22nd. But we are definitely doing our Pisces and one more shot of the, the cool Pisces t-shirts that are available. <laughs> uh, what is the animal tone card for July for Pisces? 
Ooh, it came out right quick. Right quick. That's not me. I don't talk like that. Okay, skunk. Well, skunk means smell me. You're going to see me coming. Asserting yourself, commanding respect. Enhanced perception, clear essence, aromatherapy. Kundalini rising, attracting a lover. Maybe this is a lover. Some of you, it could be somebody showing up again, coming back. But it just feels weird. It seems like this is first and then this is second. It doesn't, you know, if it were this way, I could say, oh, yeah, for sure, it's somebody showing from the past. Or, you know, so, I don't know, maybe did you date their father and now you like their son or their younger brother? I don't know. I mean, that could be. Who knows? Um, Kundalini rising, attracting a lover. Walking your path devoid of obtrusions. Well, the skunk is, uh, it emanates an aura, you know. So you're going to have, it's saying you're going to have an aura. You know, by the way, that first new moon eclipse in Cancer, that's a trine to your sign. So that's a harmonious aspect. So it is a time to do these new beginnings. You do have the Ace of Swords showing up here. So again, new beginnings are very strong for you at this time. A lot of stuff about relationships more than anything. There does seem to be some financial breakthroughs, but relationships are definitely emphasized. We're leaving the past hurts behind. We're trying to do things a little bit differently. Okay, everybody, this is one of my adult coloring books that I have that's really cool and uh, power empowering. I have all sorts of stuff on my site. I have books, decks, t-shirts. It's on, on the t-shirts are under the art. Uh, so do, please do check it out because by purchasing my wares, donating, and all other things that you do, don't forget about the eclipse readings. If you're watching this early, it's available until the first week of July. I mean, excuse me, it's the solstice reading. All of that contributes to me doing these free readings every month for you on YouTube. Um, Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, uh, donating, everything that else that you do to support me and the channel. It's so appreciated. Remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of July, and I'll speak to you soon.